This is a beast, an absolute beast. This is our third one in two weeks. This is the Dodge Ram 1500, the 5.7 Hemi engine. You're talking, I mean, look at the sheer size of it, but this is the Lamari Night Edition, so it's got everything you'd ever want, but it's big, it's left-hand drive. 20,000 miles on a 2023 72 registration. Now this car's going live now, and it'll sell straight away because the last two did. It is back qualifying, so this one's 59.990 plus VAT in a stunning condition. And the specification really is mind blowing, but it's huge. It's a pickup, there's loads of space, lots of gadget and gizmos, drives awesome, it's different. I've said this in my previous two videos, I'm gonna say it again. There isn't anybody that needs a 1500 Dodge Ram Hemi like this particular one. If you're gonna buy this car, it's because you want it. It's because you love the way it looks and you wanna be a little bit different. And why shouldn't you be? There's pickups and then there's pickups. And this really does take the biscuit. It's fantastic from every single angle. And that starts right at the front here. This huge, and it's massive, this front end. The Dodge Ram grille, the LED daytime running lights, LED headlights, being the Lamari specification and the night edition, it means the car's fully de chrome Because a lot of the times on the Dodge Rams, the bumper bars are chrome and stuff, but this one, it's all gloss black like the the, the car itself. Now if you look at the metallic, the glitter in it is also superb. You've then got front rear parking sensors, tow hitches, full extension arch kit front and rear, the matte black finish of the bonnet venting, the 1500 Hemi 5.7 litre badge on the side there as well. This car also has air suspension. And then look at the beautiful Lamavi alloy wheels. Now these are special edition wheels suited for this car only, and they are huge wheels, 22 inch in size. The Dodge Ram badge on the side is also finished in matte black and three-dimensional. Some protection glass. And then you have the beautiful electric deployable side steps. And then a big step that you can jump on to get in and out this huge car. Comfort access. And remember, like I said, it is left-hand drive. But the first thing you'll see is that beautiful grey beading. Nice, comfortable. Everything is supersized. And why wouldn't it be? It's American, so everything's huge. The armrest, the seat, the cab area. The tilt and sliding panoramic roof, electric seats, heated seats. You've got armored headlights, armored window wipers, paddle shift. I'm gonna quickly get in this way. Normally, I finish off on the driver's side, but because this is left-hand drive, I'm gonna show you some of the controls here. So the detailing on this dash alone, you've got the digital section in the middle here, analog on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side, the RAM in the middle, full multifunctional steering wheel. You've then got a stop start here, and then you've got the gear shifter just down below with the different driving modes, which is four wheel drive, two wheel drive, high and low. Remember, this is a four by four. Some of them are four by two, which really defeats the object. A big car like this, all that power, you want it to be a four wheel drive. This then has the upgraded 18 way speaker system, Harman Kardon, and that does make a difference as well if you like your music. All the different options for the tilt and slide sunroof, you've got the different blinds on there as well, the twin cup holders, lots of storage space, wireless charging pad here, USBs, US 12 volt sockets, literally everywhere, and you've got USCs. This centre armrest, as I've mentioned, is massive, one word. Underneath you have more creepy hole space as well. Seats are nice and comfortable, you also got lots of Alcantara on the inner sections there, grab handles to aid you getting in and out of it, and then other little switches down there, but this is this really is fantastic. The passenger has loads of space as well. Obviously this tablet area here has the heated steering wheel above. Everything's digital now. So heated steering wheel, you sort of heated seats and you've got ventilated seats as well. And that's the same for the passenger, obviously. The Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on there and then you have the Bluetooth side of stuff. Of course, navigation. But the layout's brilliant. One more thing I want to show you. The detailing on the, on the inlays, it's not carbon fibre, but it has a very similar look to it. It's got a little detailing on it which looks really good now let me show you the back because the front's brilliant the exterior is amazing i have kids i've had one of these before i've took it home and the kids have absolutely loved it and this is why i am not joking but this space is ridiculous let me just give you an idea i mean this is me fully walking about as if i'm walking into a caravan it's it's huge i mean it really i love them I absolutely, I will be doing a drive out video on this car uh, for the girls and guys that want to sort of see how it is on the road and how easy it is to drive because I've driven so many left hand drives. For the first 20 minutes, you have to get used to it. But after that, it's a doddle. It's so easy. But it's fantastic. It's fascinating. Use all them words. You've got rear heated seats, USBs, USCs, your, your 12 volt socket there, twin cup holders. This one's the American three pin socket actually. 
rear dials, fully fitted carpets. I had a customer recently, a very nice couple bought the most recent Dodge Ram off me, um, very similar to this one. And she, she said something really clever. She went, oh, the back's that big, the bed. If I put a bag in there, I'll never get to it. I won't be able to reach it. But every day I don't carry the kids around. And it was that good lady that showed me this little feature, which isn't standard really, but I didn't know it, it did it. Check this out. It's amazing. That space there is fantastic. You could literally sleep in this. That's how big it is. Lift that up. You can put your bags there. Put your push chairs there, your golf gear there. Whatever it is you want to do, you can. And then underneath you have the cool boxes here. So on both sides, you can lift that up. And they are cool boxes. Pretty neat as well. Look at this. It is, it is. It's mind-blowing how nice this car is and what it does. Like I said, please don't compare this to a Ford Ranger, a Nissan Navara, a Toyota Hilux. It isn't. Don't ring me asking about this car if you're after a Hilux because it isn't the same thing. But this is special. For all the right reasons, it's special. You want to be different? This is you. You want to be big? This is you. I love it. Just that alone for me is a deal breaker. It makes all the difference. That rear window also slides forwards and backwards to, to get access to the back. We'll look in the back then. You've then got the trifold back here, yeah? I want to show you this. £2,000 it cost. The quad tow hitch. It's huge. It's massive. Obviously, you can take it all off and stuff, but it's massive. That's all I can say. It's massive. The Dodge Ram on the back, 4x4. Obviously, you've got different adapters on there. Reversing camera is just here. It's obviously all bed lined. And like I said, this is the, the trifold. So that sort of lifts up. I need to unconnect it somewhat first. Give it one of them. Give it one of them and that just lifts up literally. So that goes like that, and then same again, just goes like that. But look at the bed space, it's massive, literally. And it's in perfect order. It has been used, but it hasn't been trashed, absolutely not. Very nice light lid on it as well. You've then got the LED rear lighting system, the quad tails, sorry, the, the double tail pipes, the step kicks out as well, just like that, so you can get on top of it and do what you need to do. It goes on, the list goes on. But it's special for all the space, the way it looks, the way it drives, the power, the steps, the comfort. And there's a passenger here. Lavami, the Lavami badge on there. More leather. Top dash, bottom dash. It's special. You have to admit, don't get me wrong, we've got Lamborghini Urises, we've got Ferraris, tons and tons of Range Rovers. When's the last time you've seen one of them in your cul-de-sac? Probably never. And that's why it's nice. Remember, it is plus VAT, so it's 59.9 and all plus VAT for this awesome 20,000 miles, 2023, 72 registration powerhouse. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.